So hello and welcome again to memory card. Uh, I said that the idea behind this was to do a set of videos about my gaming memories. Um, I haven't specified whether or not they're all going to be good. Um, and in this case, not. This case, the game I want to talk about today is utterly dreadful. A mess. Something that probably ended the franchise stone dead. <laughs> and that is Perfect Dark Zero on 360. Um, things I liked about the first game, the guns, the missions, the fun. I didn't mention the music, but I will mention music here because it just adds to the whole essence, the whole pile of excrement this game, I think, really is. So what I liked about the first game is it took chances, it existed, it was a game. You know, people are going, who the heck is Joanna Dark? Who is Velvet Dark? What have they got to do with anything? Uh, we need, they've done what people do nowadays, and they've given us an origin story of Joanna, or an attempt. So Microsoft bought Rare, and of course they bought their intellectual properties as well, and this is just an absolute turd of a game. Right, so we need a prequel, don't we? Of course we do. It's the era of 360 and PS3. Of course we need a prequel. Um, let's start off, I didn't mention music in the last, the last episode, but let's mention music first of all. The music in this game is pants. There's some techno music in here, there's synthy, poppy music that it's not, it's, it's not suspenseful. The music in the other game was brilliant. It was suspenseful and it worked. It was just a masterpiece of a game with great music. Here the music is pants. Total pants. No more so than the nightclub level, Gordon Bennett, that level. <laughs> music was horrible. Um, because I had lyrics in it, <laughs> I can remember it was pants. Um, Okay, it's a smoother, graphically more beautiful game. They could obviously do more, they could maybe do better music because um, of the, the better capabilities of the X, of Xbox E60, but mm, <laughs> this game is just pants. Um, okay, maybe more fluid, it may look vibrant and bright like the original but it's just naff the character design is naff music design is naff okay whilst that, that was just one level mentioned but the music yeah, it was pants um they gave joanna dark highlights and this kind of bob haircut thing that kind of looks like it's been styled out to the sides and you just think why <laughs> why why, if they tried to make her look trendy and hip and cool, and the, of course, being an origin story, she's or a prequel. She's younger, and we all know with prequels, you either give it this subtitle or you slap a zero on the end, and they've gone for zero. Because they couldn't cut one, could they? Because the first perfect dark is a thing, you perfect dark one. So let's go zero. So let's keep this brief, the rest is brief. The guns are guns. Yeah. They, they serve a purpose, they shoot, they inflict pain, and they kill guards. Um, Nothing special, nothing fun, 
I suppose, from what I can remember, this is off my own memories. I don't remember there being that many good, fun alien weapons in this game. Um, finding it not an awful lot I can really remember about this all, only that it was a tremendous turd of a game. Do yourself a favour if you've got an Xbox, download the original and play that. There are a few problems with it on the on the Xbox 360. There's the whole signing in nonsense of having that having to go through that when you're trying to play multiplayer. Both people have to have one. You can try doing with a guest. I, I tried playing with my friend recently, and I had to create an account on his Xbox just for it to let me play the flipping game. Um, which is really annoying. Um, but that aside, it's a very good game. I recommend you, if you've got 360, download it and play that. And forget Zero. Zero is just a pitiful waste of space. The cartridge, if it had been one, would have been something you would use for clay pigeon shooting. The disc, this time, in fact, is useful as a coaster. Or the frisbee, just do not play this game. <coughs> it's a pant origin story. It's unnecessary. It's woeful. It is just downright dreadful. I've tried to expunge it from my memory, but I just thought I'd make this video just to let everybody know who's watching that I've acknowledged its existence. I know it exists. Um, and to give my very brief view on this turd of a game. Um, I've said that multiple times, don't play it. <laughs> Do yourself a favour, play the original. If you agree, leave a comment down below. If you like the videos, please subscribe. I'm sure you've watched enough of these videos to know how this works. So thanks for your time and all the best.